I'm uh, Martin Larson. I live in Byron, Minnesota, where I farm a fifth generation family farm. I also work for the Olmsted County Soil and Water Conservation District. Most farmers realize that there are uh, these rain events that are peculiar and don't feel normal anymore. Uh, whether there's an all all out admission of climate change it varies by farmer, uh, but we we all recognize that the large rain events are something that we need to manage for. And of course, I believe that uh, managing the soil health is a key component. Each time that we till, we release carbon into the air and we're losing the organic matter in our soil where we want the carbon into the air where we don't want it. On May 29th of this year, there was a 1.8 inch rainfall. This is our fifth year of no tilling and cover cropping. Fields that have conventional tillage and the amount that those fields can infiltrate compared to my no-till, our fields are able to handle these large rainstorms that come quickly and infiltrate that water rather than running off and causing erosion. Like the seven inch rainfall that fell in Fillmore County, we're seeing more of those and they're happening more often. Our farms are not equipped to handle that kind of rain. There in Fillmore County, the kind of erosion and debris that left the fields, uh, filled road ditches, went into sinkholes, went into the conduit car system below. Uh, it was really detrimental to some of the caves and the amount of sediment that it brought into the caves. In, in one instance, we saw that uh, one inch of, of topsoil had come into the cave and uh, you know and that's it, 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 it's just one small picture of how much actually left the fields during that one event. The actual amount of soil that left those farms was extraordinary. To build resiliency on our farms we really need to adhere to the five soil health principles and I I believe that the ones that pay off the highest are uh, keeping the, the ground covered, minimal disturbance, and keeping living roots in the ground. That those are the, the three easiest and it rehabilitates the soil from the damage that was caused by tillage.